seven 300 hitters in the lineup for Louisiana Tech. This indeed is a potent offense. A liner to right. Cruz coming on and can't get to it. That one drops in front of the LSU right fielder. And Taylor Young collects his 56th base hit. Of Honorable mention All-American his very first year at Louisiana Tech, Lynn, and then his career has been steady Eddie ever, ever since. A liner to center to Giacomo. Comes on, can't get it. He throws it back to the cutoff man, the shortstop, and the bases are loaded on a single, a walk, and a single. 1-1 one, one pitch, grounded to the left side. A run is going to score. The out at second, the out back to first. A 5-4-3 double play. Takes rid of, gets rid of two. Bulldogs. 2-2 two, two pitch. Off Wyeth, it's rolling all the way back to the backstop, and Louisiana Tech gets a gift run as well, score standing up. Six four three. Louisiana Tech turns it over off the bat of Gavin Dugas. Ray and Young and Garcia get it done. If the Giacomo tweaks something. That ground ball is just out of the reach of the second baseman Drew Bianco. The runner moving and the pitch is off the mark. A run will score on this. And nope. there is a drop wow. at second base. Wow. LSU very sloppy early. Jordan Thompson. It's the 2 1 pitch. Lined into right center field. Cruz coming on. He dives. Did he get it? Yes, he did. A flying catch by Dylan Cruz. Saves a couple of runs. Let's replace Tim with Arnold. A drive deep to left center field is carrying. It bangs off the wall. And a stand-up double by Arnold. Tell them both what's going to what's going to come. Beloso hits it high. He hits it far. And it is caught in the corner. The right fielder, Philip Matulia, never gave up on it, ran a long way and caught that one in foul ground. Your team, which was not good just a few seasons ago, has turned it around in a hurry. Cruz can't reach this one as it bounces on the warning track and he plays it off the wall. And it is a leadoff double and Louisiana Tech continues to apply. Still trying to get the feel here in the third. Another liner, and this one will bounce two or three times and roll to the wall in left center field. Back-to-back -back doubles by this greedy Louisiana Tech team. And another run added in the third, and the Bulldogs have had several good swings against LSU pitching. Yeah, La Tech here really locked in early on in this game. See, Hasty falling behind 1-0, and Tech doesn't value the breaking ball. He's not... Not showing the acumen to get it over, so they're just sitting dead red. A call third strike. Matulia was locked up and could not pull the trigger. And on Saturday against UTSA, so we'll make sure they can bring him back. Bianco becomes a base runner as he's hit by a pitch. Team behind Southern Miss in the West. Morgan finds open space in left center field. The throw to third is cut off. Throw back from the shortstop. It'll be close, but Morgan is able to return safely. So a base hit by Trey Morgan. Drew Bianco never in the fall. That's line right back from whence it came. Bianco scores. Morgan now has the brakes put on him. The throw is very high, backed up smartly by the pitcher. But LSU trailing decided to take no chances on a play at the now that's very wide probably not meant to be a strike Three base a liner to right and it is out of the reach of the right fielder Matulia one tiger scores two tigers score here's the throw to the plate in plenty of time 
And that was a base running mistake, I believe, because Nolan Kane had put up the brakes, the stop sign at third. No, no, he waved him. He actually but waved then he, him. But then he put him down, though. Yeah, See but, if you can take another look at it. Yeah, this ball is hammered. How about Zach Arnold saying, hey, coach, let me play. He's got two doubles in this game, and both of them have been bullets. But I thought Nolan Kane did a great job of holding up Trey Morgan uh, earlier. But right there, it looked to me like he waved. Sanford hits it off the pitcher's glove. It caroms to the second baseman, and he gets the out at first. Canada has not pitched in 10 days. His first delivery is hit high and deep to left center field, and that one is up into the bleachers as Corona pops the top on that one. That's his fourth home run of the season. And that one had a lot of fizz. Now Corona, 89 miles an hour on that fastball in. First pitch swinging. You saw him kind of pull the hands close to the body, open up those hips, and that was a no-doubter. Out to left center field. Did no, it? it didn't, but it went a little okay. farther than that. Okay. Here's a liner the other way. That's down for a base hit as Alex Ray who had a fielder's choice RBI earlier. So his next one will put him at the top of the list. Zach Arnold cannot field it cleanly and now can't pick it up and Louisiana Tech gets a run as Alex Ray scores from second base. To come out swinging, the runner is moving and that's lined right into the glove of Cade Doty. Cade Doty stuck out the leather and that one smacked the pocket of the... Beloso lobs that one to right field. It's down in front of Matulia and fumbled, and Beloso made a turn, but will return to first base. Okay, Beloso. <laughs> but it, it just didn't come. I'm sorry. <laughs> Louisiana Tech shortstop Alex Ray bobbles an easy one behind. Cruz has not seen Griffin. He lines it to right field. That's down for a base hit. Here's the throw cut off on the infield. No relay to home. And Dylan Cruz delivers an RBI single to right. And there he goes. A liner to right field down for a base hit. One Tiger scores. Cruz will stop at third base. Gavin Dugas again delivers a two out RBI. Yeah, that 344 with runners that score. Doty waits. The runner at first is on the move. That's ball four. The bases are loaded. He cracked a double in the second and did it Ooh, again in the him. third, and he's hit by a pitch, and we've got a brand new ball game. Follis has thrown five pitches. They've all been out of the strike zone. 83. Chops this one up the middle. Will it get through? Yes, it does. It took an odd hop on the backside of the infield, and LSU has its first lead of the day. Sanford comes through for the Tigers. You know, how about uh, Paul Maneri pulling the strings today? He goes to the bench and replaces three starters with three backups in the second inning, and all of them have really played well. Sanford comes through with a big clutch base hit. A ground ball to the right side. Taylor Young is in front of it. The out recorded at first base, and the inning is over. That's headed to left field, cut off by the shortstop. A fine play by Zach Arnold, but he had no chance. Ooh. That sounded painful. Yeah, that felt like a lot of punch. They are not going. Ball four, trouble continues to follow LSU. The 0-2. Lined weakly to center field. It's down for a base hit. One Bulldog scores. Another dog crosses the plate. And that's what Taylor Young does so well. He fell behind immediately in the count and then found something he could punch into center field. Well, what a great piece of hitting right here. He goes down and gets it. I mean, that's a fantastic pitch. You see Doty's glove on the ground. He's expecting that ball to really be out of the strike zone. But the veteran hitter, Taylor, uh, Taylor Young, tracks it. One-two pitch, swung on and missed. 
And the inning is over, but a clutch two-out hit with a run scored. This is lined into right center field, and it is beyond the reach of Matulia. Beloso stops at second base. That is his ninth double of the year. 29 and 18 and six games under 500 in the SEC. That bunt is well delivered and Bianco beats out the throw from Hunter Wells. I mean, you know, he, of course, with two strikes, a lot of guys choke up, but not. Uh oh, chop to the left side. No play for the shortstop. Morgan has three base hits and the Tigers regain the lead on the RBI chopper to the left side. It's now 14 base hits for Morgan in the last six games. I mean, that's incredible. Last seven games. The runner at second is on the move. This ball is grounded to the right side, and it's misplayed between Young and Ray. Ray, for the second time, Gus. He's hit by a pitch. Another run comes in. Mid north. Chopped to the shortstop. He'll take it himself. Throws to first, and it's pluck. Plucked by Garcia at first base. That's a heck of a play by Manny Garcia. McConnell drifting to his right. Makes the catch and the inning is over. But LSU adds three to its total. Backhanded by Arnold. Good throw to first base. Well done by Zach Arnold on a ball that was peppered. Uh. Can anybody recover and make a play? No. Morgan has his fourth base hit. Beloso rounds third. He will score without a throw. Morgan's going to second and he's going to be out by a mile. They'll get him in the pickle here. And he's tagged out. But an RBI single by Trey Morgan. I don't know what he was thinking well, trying he, to get to second base. Uh, he misread the deal. He was he was going to second because he was trying to draw the throw instead of it going home. Ray muscles up. He drives this one deep to left center field. It is off the wall, and Ray is on his way to second base. And once again, Louisiana Tech refuses to go back. Doty is chasing it and has oh, room catch. and makes the catch Big right play. at the dugout. Nick Ellis is the new pitcher for Louisiana Tech. He is greeted by a base hit from Cruz. Dylan Cruz collects his second hit. Ball four. That smacked on the ground into left field for a base hit. It's going to produce another run. And yet another productive at bat for Cade Doty. That's his second RBI. Uh-oh. This That's is hit, hit well. high. It's hit deep, carrying to the wall, off the wall. That is on the yellow line. I believe it's been ruled a home run. Is it? I mean, the third base umpire pointed at it, but I don't. But he did. He called it a home run. So a belated pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Oh, look, look, look at that dugout. That LSU dugout is fired up. This is a guy who has paid his dues. He has never played a lot in his career. He's been a bullpen catcher for the most part. And look at the smile on Mr. Doty's face. Let's see right here. Watch it. If it hits the yellow line, it's a home run. And it did. And it absolutely hit the yellow. We believe it is going to be his first if it holds up. And they're going to take it away from him. He's first pitch swinging and he whacks it. And this is going to be on the warning track. Beloso, who's hit the ball very hard tonight. Collects his third hit and his second double. And we've got a lightning delay right here with LSU leading 16 to 8.